We'll go record. Recording is live. Awesome. All right, guys. What's up? My name's Efish. I want to come out here and start creating content for you guys. As in, I want to write training programs that walk you through the whole process and give you absolutely everything that you need. They're going to be long videos. And the whole goal is to give you all the content that you need and tell you why everything works and the way it works. And bring people onto the show and give them give them what they need and just give away free stuff and knowledge because I think there's so much in the fitness industry right now that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of shenanigans and a lot of BS. And there's a lot of things that are not understood and not written well and not done this and that. And I, I want to push all that to the side and help people out. So we're going to do our first one today. First one is Couch to 5K. So let's get this started. So we're going to do four weeks. So count them one, two, three, and four. So in here, we will add an event for our streaming Bob 5K race day. Exciting. All right, Bob. Now, Bob just got up. Oh, running, road running. Boom. Okay. So Cal, Bob has a race on August 9th. So we got to get Bob ready for that race. First of all, Bob tells me Mondays are going to be his rest days. So Bob will do no fitnessing on Mondays whatsoever. So we're going to just do that across the board and add that to all of Bob's weeks. Okay. So that should auto-populate. Let's see. Refresh here. Boop, 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 boop. Why doesn't it like rest days? Day off. Save and close. Hmm, doesn't like to add those in. Whatever. All right, so first thing first, we gotta do a run because we gotta get loose. We gotta get fast. So we're gonna do. We're gonna start the week off with an easy tempo run. I like easy tempo or sorry, just an easy run. Apologize, easy run, because I like doing the shakeout stuff. So I generally do easy run with drills. Okay, so we're gonna build some drills in there because everybody loves doing drills. Not really. Most people don't like doing drills, but drills are what's going to make you a better runner. So first things first, we're going to do a, um, we'll do a five minute warm up. So this, during this warm up, I want you to run. I want you to get loose. I want you to feel good. I want you to just get blood flowing, shake things out. All right. Then we are going to get into drills. So running so under that, we're going to do running drills. Okay. Total duration for this is going to be 20 minutes because you're thinking about somebody like yourself. You're a Bob. I call you streaming Bob, as you can see up here. Doesn't have much time and doesn't have much running time. So if I beat you up off the bat, that's not going to be good for you. You're going to be broken down. It's not fun. Nobody's going to enjoy it. So we're going to do 10 minutes worth of running drills with a five-minute warm-up, five-minute cool-down. Super simple. So under here, we will do five-minute cool-down. Boom. Under this, let's get into it. First running drill. This is one that everybody loves. High knees. So all your running drills will be done two by 30 seconds. Or we'll go four by 30 seconds. So four by 30 seconds each. Okay. And what I mean by that is you're going to do four by 30 seconds, as in you're going to do four times through 30 seconds worth of work. Recovery is up to you. All right. So four by 30 seconds each. Boom. Enter. Now, first one is going to be high knees. We love it. Just get them up there, get them loose, get them flowing. Get your knees over, or get your feet over your knees. So if you're out and you're running, we're going to get up, all right? That's a high knee. This isn't a high knee. So get it up, all right? Get everything up and high with that one. High knees, high knees, high knees. We love it. Next one, we're going to do a butt kick, all right? So... Every time with this one, runner, we're going to do butt kicks. There's a difference between a runner's butt kick and di and everybody else's butt kick. So everybody else's butt kick comes back like that. 
We don't want to do that when we run because we don't run by bringing our leg back. Run by bringing our leg up. So you want to bring that high knee up just like you did before, and then you're going to snap into that butt. Okay, see? Just like that. That's how you're going to do your butt kicks. We love it. Getting loose. All right. So now, next one you're going to do is a, oops, let me get a little lower on my chair, is a lunge with a twist. Okay, let me see if I can find a quick image of this one. Let me go lunge with a twist. Okay, boom. Here we go. My guy's got it. Right here. Lunge with a twist. Super simple. Keeping it loose. Shaking things out. All right, so 30 seconds worth of those. Love it. Okay. So right now we got high knees, butt kicks, lunge with a twist, and then we're going to do some wall running as well. These are great basic drills for everybody. Let me go pull up a, a, a wall running video. Wall running drill. Who's got just like a short, short something of this? Okay, cool. So this is, you can do this on anything, guys. You can do this on a wall. You can do this on a pole. You can do this on a soccer goal. You can do this on anything you can lean up against. You can do this on there. Cool. So all you're going to do is you're just bumping, sw switching up your feet. Bruh, show me, show me him doing the drill. Why aren't you, why is he just picking one foot up? Swap feet. There we go. Swap feet again. Yeah, swap feet again. Oh, my guy. My guy out here pumping. But so what that's going to teach you to do is that's going to teach you to lean forward and really get that forward momentum into your run. Because oftentimes a lot of people, I don't know why in the freaking 90s, this was a thing, but they said run with your feet out in front of you. You don't want that. You want them under your hips. But four great drills. Do that five-minute cool down. Total minute, 20 minute, easy run with drills. Love it. That's your first workout of the week. Then you're going to do a run the day after that. So we're going to call this one a tempo run. Okay. Now, what is a tempo run? There are different types of runs. A tempo run is one in which you're going to maintain a specific speed, cadence, some sort of something. All right, so speed, cadence, whatever. That's what we're going to try to work on, all right? This one, we're going to pertain to a specific effort level because our streaming Bob does not know how to run at particular paces and cadences and different heart rates and intervals like that. So I want streaming Bob to work at a specific pace or specific effort level. That effort level, we're going to call it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Or, in other words, we will call it a push pace. Okay? So, because you are pushing yourself. Make sense? Push, pace, push yourself. Awesome. Cool. We love it. All right. So, we're going to start with a five minute warm up. Get loose. Run. Maybe do some of those drills that you really, 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 really liked. Then, we're going to do seven out of 10 push pace effort wise. Um, so, effort wise boom love it okay here's how we're going to do this we are going to do three minutes of your push pace push pace then we are going to do a one minute walk that is going to get your heart rate up let it come down this is called interval training all right, we'll talk about interval training a little bit more specifically, but this particular interval, the reason that we're doing this is because this is going to get your heart rate up, this is going to get you moving, this is going to get you loose, but it's also not going to overwhelm you at the first start. So we're going to do three minutes of push pace, one minute of a walk. Um, and what that's going to do is that's going to help you build up time in those upper end heart rate zones, but not strain that body too much so that we can repeat these efforts and keep doing them. All right, so... We are going to do this. This is four minutes worth of work, okay? So we are going to do this 
five times through. Okay. So what that means is you're going to do three minutes on, one minute walk, five times through. And you're going to repeat that. So you go three minutes, one minute, three minutes, one minute, all the way through that one. And then you do a five minute cool down. And congratulations, you have your first 30 minute tempo run. We love it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now, this is the couch to 5K. So this is that that's a lot of work at the beginning of the week. Okay, we're gonna take that. We are going to take a day off next. Okay, we're gonna take a day to recover, relax, chill out. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna hit it hit it aggressively by doing a strength workout. All right, so um, strength, boom. Uh, get strong day. Okay. Now, because you can't just run and expect your body to do everything it's going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some strength stuff in there so that your body can be better at supporting itself and you can be a better runner overall. So first thing you're going to do is you also have to remember this is a this is streaming bob streaming bob does not want to work out streaming bob doesn't like working out so what we're going to do is we're just going to give him a mass number we're not worried about sets and reps as much so streaming bob i want to do 20 squats okay that's going to get his legs nice and open nice and loose open up the hips a little bit we're going to get those glutes engaged so 20 squats all right next one we're going to do is chair single leg chair stands so boom 20 or also known as single leg squats okay so if you can do a single leg squat awesome um if you can't here's what you're going to do single leg chair squat boom do, 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 do. Okay, I'm writing this particular one assuming you don't have anything. So, okay, you're doing a chair squat. Awesome. Boom. Single legs like that. We love it. If you're feeling really frisky, homegirl, show me it with no leg. Uh, she's not picking her. There we go. So you can pick your leg up off the ground. She's talking about not letting your knee wobble side to side. With that, we want you to focus on keeping your knee in alignment. Awesome. Cool. We love it. Okay. Sing 20 single leg squats. Now with this, each leg. Each leg. All right. Next one. We are going to do 20 glute bridges. Okay. So a glute bridge... Uh, glute bridge. Just like this. Okay. Butt is down. Butt is up. Up, down, up, down, up, down. That's going to turn your glutes on. Get them going. Get them nice and strong. We love it. Then you are going to do heel walks. So heel walks for, we'll go... Uh, 50 feet. Okay, a heel walk. I don't even I don't even need to pull that one up. So a heel walk is just this. So if you guys can see me, you can see my toes. I'm just gonna pick them up off the ground, walk around on my heels. That's it. That's all you're doing. You can do that when you're on around the house. You can do that wherever. But do that. That's going to help, especially people with shin splints and have very tight anterior tibialises, that's gonna help get them nice and strong for those runs, all right? Last and final one, we wanna do a core move, okay? So we wanna get the core turned on nice and good. Everybody loves a plank. We're gonna do 30 seconds. We'll do three by 30 second planks, okay? Boom, get strong day, it's in there, let's go. Okay, why? There we go. That's how I want it to view. Why don't you do that when I'm in full screen? That's weird. Okay, but that's the view I wanted. Well, that's good. That's why we test everything. All right, next one. We're going to do another run day. Run day. 
This is going to be a sprint day. Sprints are awesome. We love sprints. Okay, so five-minute warm-up. Now, with sprints, you have to think of everything inversely, all right? So the harder you work, longer recovery you need. Make sense? The less harder you work, the shorter you recover. You, the shorter recovery you need. Beautiful, simple, we love it. So with this one, we are going to do um, a five-minute warm-up. Now we are going to do a some sprints. So only 10 seconds of, uh, let's go 15, 10 seconds of work. I love 10 seconds of work. 10 second sprint, all out, everything you've got with a 50 second recovery, okay? So these are going to be one minute total of work. We are going to do 10 of these, 10 by that, okay? So 10 by 10 second sprint. So 10 seconds, all out, everything you've got, let it rip. 50 second recovery, bring it on down afterwards, okay? Just relax, catch your breath. Then we are going to do a five minute cool down. That's it, that's it, 20 minutes of that run, 20 minutes. Boom, that's it. 20 minute run, I can do a 20 minute run, you can do a 20 minute run, awesome. We love it. All right, so next one. Whoops, not a bike. Next one, we are going to do a run, and then we are going to do a long run. Okay. So your long run will be 30 minutes of non-stop running. So this is going to be 30 minutes non-stop running. And I want this at easy, easy pace. Okay, easy pace easy like easy clap pace all right like that's what i want you to be at the done yeah at the end you're just gonna that's how easy of a place a pace we're going this may even be a fast walk that's okay that's cool that's awesome i'm cool with that but 30 minutes non-stop effort keep the same tempo the whole time beautiful we just built our first week of our running program you're one week closer to your 5k race day let's keep going okay so monday rest day boom day off love it next day we're going to keep this same easy run with drills so what i'm going to do for you guys is i'm going to add that to my library easy run with drills select runs add boom okay so now let me go copy workout Okay, so copy it. I want to just copy. No, copy workout. Copy. Well, either way. Um, go here. Let me go to uh, workout library. Runs. Runs. Okay, where's easy run with drills? Boom, right there. 20 minutes duration, 20 minutes, same thing as before. Okay, except for now we're going to add in some new drills. Okay, we're going to add in another one. Fast feet. Okay, so with this, here's how fast feet drill works. We're also going to build this up to 25 minutes. Shh, don't tell anybody. All right, so 25 minutes. Fast feet drill. You're going to do 30 seconds. Take as many steps as you possibly can. Just be up on your toes. Fast feet. Fast, 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 fast feet. YouTube. Let's pull this up. Fast feet drills. Boom. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. I don't see any ones that I like. 30 seconds, fast feet, stand in place, take as many steps as you can, as fast as you can, boom, 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 drill them out, 30 seconds, and take as much recovery time as you need to. I want you to be able to repeat that one, all right? Now, we're going to go with another tempo run. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm, okay. Tempo run, five-minute warm-up, just because we love it. Warm-up, okay. Then, now, let's get into the meat of the potatoes this time. You completed eight achievements. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, Twitch. I completed eight achievements. Let's go, boys. Okay. So, 
um, here's what we're going to do. We are going to um, do another tempo run. So we talked before about that push pace. That's 7 out of 10 pace. All right. So this time I want you to do another build onto that as in 6 times through. So 6 times through. 3 minutes. Whoops. Boop, boop. Three minutes, push, pace, and one minute walk. Okay? Six times through this time, five minute cooldown. Cooldown. Which we're going to build you to a duration of 35 minutes. I love it. Beautiful. Let's take another rest day. That was rough. That was a hard day. All right, now we're going to go into some more strength on this all right getting strong getting loose getting fast okay so we're gonna do another 20 squats because I love squats they get you going okay this time we're going to do Kosick squats all right so um, let me pull up a YouTube video of a Kosick squat Kosick squat BAM Okay, so it's basically just a lateral squat in a nutshell, okay? Um, no, I want you full screen. Why Why you no know full screen? There we go. All right, so you can see my guy. He leans over, and then he's going to go back out, okay? Boom, there you go. That's a Kosick squat. You're going to do 20 of those side to side. Kosick squats, okay? This is going to help build up those lateral muscles. All right, keep, try to keep us nice and stable throughout that one. All right, next one is going to be single leg deadlifts. So YouTube. So then we're going to do, and this is, oh, by the way, 20 each side. Okay. Okay, single leg. Leg. Deadlift. Boom. Oh, she says to do it the right way. Let's see what she's got. Okay. Opening up to the side. That's bad. She's got it. Hunching the back. Yes! These are things we don't want to see. I love this girl. Who are you? Well and good. Girl, you getting it. All right. So, she got it. Square the hips. This is a great video. I will link this in there. Okay. Heel, foot. But there you go. That's a single leg deadlift, all right? You can do this with no weight, just your bare hands. Reach over, tap, reach over, tap, reach over, tap. We love it, okay? Boom. So 20 single leg deadlift each side. Boom. And then we're going to do 20... Uh, 20, um, whatchamacallit, double crunches. I can't, double crunch, crunch. All right, so my guy's about to come in, going to full extension, boom. Oh, he's just putting his hand behind his head. That works too. But you're going to come in, bring your knees in, just like that. Beautiful, love it. Building things up. So 20 double crunch. Boom. And that's your strength day for the day. Strength. Strength day. Okay. Saving clothes. Boom. Run day. Back to sprint. We love it. Sprint day. Okay, here's what we're going to do this time. We're, again, focused on getting explosive, getting fast. So, five-minute warm-up. Love it. Then, we are going to do 30 seconds. Everything you got. Everything you got. Full blast. Sweat pouring. Winds blowing behind you. Maybe you give it a little extra fart to come out that gate. 
and I mean when we're doing these things, we're talking straight up. You are Leroying into this thing knowing that you're going to help your team. So just Leroy as hard as you can for 30 seconds. All right, everything you've got. He knows he's helping. That's what I need. So 30 seconds, everything you've got, full Leroy. Okay. Then you're going to take a full recovery afterwards. Full recovery. So take all the time you need. Catch your breath. We are going to do this one. You ready? Five times through. Okay. So we're going to go five times through. Full Leroy, everything you've got. Okay. Then five minute cool down. Actually, we'll do. Yeah, I like that. Okay. This time we're going to do 35 minute long run. Okay, long run, 35 minutes, 35 minute long run, and you should be able to play Pokemon during this. I mean, that's how slow we're going. I want you to be able to just sit there, jam out, play Pokemon. 35 minute long run, playing Pokemon, no cap. Easy clap. Okay. That's how we're doing it. Smooth and easy. Keeping it loose. We have two weeks built in. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You are that much closer to doing your 5K. All right. Cool. Now, here we go. Easy run with drills. Let's add it in. We're going to go. Boom. Um, run drills. Uh, easy run with drills. Put you right here. No, I don't want that. Easy run with drills. Boom. Got it. Love it. Keep it good. All right. Easy run with drills. And then you're going to add in, last time we add fast feet. Okay. This time you're going to do a fall forward and run. So, um, fall forward and run. Let me see. Here, my guy's got it. My guy's got it. Okay. So, stand up tall. Fall forward, run. Okay, my guy. Here we go. He's telling you, stand up tall, look in front of you, fall forward, into a run. Now, here's why we want to do this drill. Because when you fall forward and run, what that's going to do is that's going to pull you forward, get your feet under your hips a lot more. So, I want you to stand up tall. The ground's going to, your feet are going to catch you before you hit the ground, I promise. Lean forward and then run. Awesome. We love it. Fall forward and run. Beautiful. Saving clothes. Cool. Then we're going to do our tempo day. Tempo run. Except for now, we're going to beef it up. So, five minute run, five minute warm up. But I want you to do five minutes at that push face. So, we're going to add two minutes on. Five minutes push face. We're going to do a two minute recovery. We are going to do this three times through. Okay? Three times through to start. So, same thing as before, except for you're going to do five minute push, two minute recovery. That's going to be at, so seven minutes then. Then we do another five minutes, right? Which is going to take us to 12 minutes. Then we're going to go to 14, so on and so forth. Same thing that we did before. Okay? Then we're going to do a five minute cool down. Super simple. Okay. Duration. Let's call this. So that takes us to what? Three times through is 21 minutes. Okay. Three times through takes us to 21 minutes. That then drops us to um, why can't I math? 31 minutes. 31 minutes total for this workout. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to do another strength day. So, what we're going to do, 20 squats again. 
Get it. Love it. All right, next one. What you're going to do is we're going to go back to glute bridges because they're awesome. So, except for we're going to do those in a minute. I want 20 jumping squats. Okay. So, let's go pull up the old videos. We're going to go jumping squats because this is going to help us be a little bit more explosive. All right. So, that's why we want to build them into jumping squats for women. What? How to do a jump squat boot camp. Okay. Boom. Boom. We go down. Keep your chest up. She's got it. Oh, I farted. Don't tell anybody. All right. So, down and then jump. Super simple. We don't need to worry about uh, absorbing it. You're smart people. Think about when you land on it, you want to land um, like a ninja on a house. So if you're if you're going full stealth mode, right, you don't want to jump out of a bush and go, you want to jump and soft, soft landing. Okay, so that's what I want you to think of. All right. Homegirl, show us how to jump. There we go. That's it. Just jump off the ground. Jumping squats. Easy. 20 glute bridge. Twenty glute bridges. And then twenty single leg deadlifts again. Single leg deadlift. Boop. Glute. And then the last one is we're gonna do some more core stuff. I like planks. We're gonna do planks. 20 by 30 second, or, or <laughs> 20, <laughs> we're not doing 20 planks, no need to do them, but what we're going to do is plank push-ups, all right, so let me go plank push-up, boom, so this is a plank push-up, you're going to go down onto your elbows, back up onto your hands, down onto your elbows, back up onto your hands, down onto your elbows, back up onto your hands. You're going to do 20 of those. 20 plank push-ups. Boom. There you go. That's probably going to be your last strength day, too, leading into the 5K. Congratulations. You are one step closer. Okay. Sprint day again. Sprint day. 20 minutes. We're going to go 20 minutes. Or Sorry, 5-minute warm-up. 5-minute warm-up. I want you to do those 30 second sprints that we did last time. 30 seconds, full Leroy. Full recovery afterwards. But, or sorry, with a one minute recovery afterwards. So one minute recovery. We are going to do this five times through, five times through. But you are going to do that two times through. So you're going to do two times 2x, 5 times through. So you're going to do 30 seconds on, minute off, 5 times. Take a full recovery. Relax. Bring it down. Then you're going to do that same block again. 30 seconds all out, minute recovery. You're going to do that 5 times through. Or sorry, 2 times through, 5 times through. All right? Hopefully that makes sense. 5 minute recovery. Okay, this is 5. That's 7 and a half which means puts us at seven and a half, seven and a half is 14, 15 minutes, um, 25 minutes. Bam. Boom. Long run. Long run. Long run. 40 minutes today. Actually, we'll go, we'll go back down. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Long run. Easy clap. Okay. G-Force experience. What? Easy clap. That's what I want. Right there. Super simple. Love it. Cool. That's through. Now, let's talk about these recovery days. Do yoga. Okay. Get on a game. Get Watch a video. Do something. What I want you to do is focus, get loose, get on the work on those problem spots, all right? Because we all have those sticky points that aren't fun 
and we need to stretch out. Now, on this day right here, this is a full recovery day. You don't have to do anything this day. Don't do a thing. But these recovery days, I want you to stretch. I want you to get loose. I want you to focus on if if your pec's super duper tight, stretch it out. Get on a foam roller. Get on a ball. Again, we can talk about recovery another day for a different thing. Okay. Now, here's what I love about race weeks. Race weeks, I build backwards from the race. Every other week, I build up, right? This time, we're going to build backwards backwards so we're going to descend in intervals because we want to do what's called tapering so you want to bring your training down so obviously this is a rest day here we're going to do a run we are going to do a 10 a 15 minute easy run so go out get loose that's going to be your same tempo as your long run but easy so 15 minute easy run easy run playing Pokemon, playing Pokemon. That's how easy of a pace we're talking. All right, cool, playing Pokemon. I want you to just straight up AFK that day. All right, here we go. This is going to be your yoga day. So day off, get loose, stretch things out. Here, we're going to do a tempo day. Tempo run. Okay, five-minute warm-up, warm-up. You're going to do three times through five minutes at 5K pace. So whatever pace you're going to run that 5K at, I want you to do five minutes at that. Actually, you know what? We're going to cut that back even more. We're going to go three minutes at 5K pace, two minutes of an easy run. I don't want you to stop or walk through that one. I want you to just like easy cruise pace. Getting things loose, shaking things out. So that gives us five minutes, 15 minutes, five minute easy cool down. Okay, that's a slight jog, that's a stretch, that's whatever, which gives us a total workout time of 25 minutes. Save and close. Cool. Here, we're going to do a easy run. So this is going to be a 20 minute easy run so same thing as we did earlier in the or later in the week that we didn't so 20 minutes easy run easy loose shaking things out okay boom i'm going to put you actually there and then here is where we're going to do your run drills all right so same thing all the drills we had before I'm going to copy this bit, boom, copy, cancel, save and close, easy run with drills, open this up, get those out of there, boom. There's your couch to 5K plan built and put together. All right. So fantastic, awesome job. That's what we, how we built the training program. That's how I, we put our thought processes into it. If you want to be part of the show, you want to have a training program created for you for free, feel free to reach out with me. We're going to do the consult and everything free on the show. I guess we can call this a show or the stream, whatever you want. And I'm going to rock you through everything because I want people to learn. I want people to grow. And you can bring me any goal. This was an easy one. This is a test run. Bring me any goal. I want them all. Let's get out there. Let's make the world a better place. Let's make the world a smarter place. Let's bring fitness and bring fitness to people that we should. All right. Thanks, guys.